For some applications, you really care about how your output looks. So far, we've been happy just to call printline, and however it decides to put things together, we're fine with that. But there are situations where you want to have more control over things like how numbers are going to be displayed or whatnot. And for that, there is the ability to create formatted output. Now, you can do this for your basic printing to the terminal or for printing out to a file. Uh, it's introduced here because it's potentially significant for files if you need them to, to look pretty. So how does this work? Well, it turns out that while we've been using printline, there is also a function called printf. And if I use printf kind of in the standard way like a print line, I get very similar results. It's not quite the same because it does not add the new line by default. So if I want my printf to actually end in a new line, I have to say that I want the new line. But the power of the printf comes from the fact that we can have it print other things in here. And this string is a format string. So to specify that you want to insert a variable in here, you start by putting a percent sign. And then after the percent sign, you put a character that tells it what formatting style you want. So for example, if I want an integer to be put in here, I would put a percent %d. And then I have to give additional arguments, and those arguments should match the type. So in the case of a percent %d, it would be nice to have an integer. And so as you can see, the value 42 was substituted for this percent %d. What makes this a little bit more powerful than what we had previously, I mean, because you could have just put a you know, string plus in here and put the 42 in there, or you could have done string interpolation if you had a variable. Uh, what makes this a little bit more powerful is the fact that you can specify a desired length. And so this will pad out the integer that it sticks in so that it consumes five characters. So if you wanted everything to line up in a nice table, for example, the printf would make that easy. Other possible formattings. So percent %d is a, an int. A percent %f is a floating point display. And as you can see, by default, it adds quite a few digits, perhaps more than, than you would want. You can cut this down. So as before, you can put in a number which will say how many digits you want to use, but then you can also say how many should come after the decimal point. So this 5.2 says I want two digits after the decimal point, but I want to take up a total of five characters when I print this, okay? <clears throat> the floating point format works reasonably well unless the number gets big. So if I go to a really large number, even though I said only take five characters, this doesn't fit in five characters, really large characters or really large numbers should be printed using scientific notation. And for that, there is a percent %e, <clears throat> which will switch over to scientific notation. Once again, after the decimal point, you can put how many digits you want to, to have for the precision after the decimal point. But here, it'll use the e notation to give you uh, the scientific notation for whatever number it is. And this works very well, not only for very large numbers, but very small numbers where the percent %f would, might not work as well. A percent %g, and I'm gonna get rid of our specifiers there. The percent %g will pick between an e or an f based upon what it thinks will look best. So when the number was really large, it said, oh, that's gonna look better in scientific notation when it was not really large, it said, okay, we'll do this. So it acts like a percent %f there. If I wanted to stick a string in here instead of a number, I could use a percent %s. You can also get things to print out nicely. So how about we say 15? But if I do a percent %x, I get it in hexadecimal. Okay. There are quite a few other 
options to, to the printf, more than we're going to go into here. Um, you can actually look them up in the Java API, if you wish. Another way to get this type of formatting, it turns out that strings have a method on them called format. <clears throat> and so I can take a string that has these percent formatting, and then I can call format and give it the arguments just to show that I can put two things in here. We can do that. The first 15, because it's a percent %x, prints as f. The second 15, because it's a percent %d, prints as 15. And you can see that the new line was in here. So that's formatted output. Uh, if you have things that need to look a certain way, you need columns to line up, whatever, this is probably the way to get the output that matches the specifications that you need.